Well, what we have learned is that uh, headache is actually a very common symptom that uh, seems to be associated with a better prognosis uh, of COVID-19 disease, which means that uh, headache, there are some mechanisms underlying headache that could also be uh, mechanisms that are made to enhance survival and uh, better, better prognosis. And from the other side, we also have learned that uh, this, this uh, virus is probably able, considering the, the presentation, the clinical presentation of headache that sometimes is similar to, to migraine, uh, we can also hypothesize that uh, there could be an activation of the trigeminal vascular system in these uh, patients, which is the trigeminal vascular system, the trigeminal vascular system is um, is involved in migraine pathophysiology too, so that there are also may be some shared mechanisms between primary and secondary headaches. And third, also that this symptom is disabling because in around 38% of patients can also persi persist of, uh, at least at six weeks is what we observed in our study, but there are now studies with a, a longer term, at longer term, and that have uh, demonstrated uh, also a persistence in a consistent a number of patients with persistent headache. Well, they are relevant because uh, for the first time we are actually studying uh, headache attributed to a viral infection, understanding its mechanism and understanding that probably uh, there are mechanisms uh, such as the, for example, the activation of the general vascular system that may be shared with primary addictive disorders such as migraine. So probably understanding the mechanisms, these mechanisms uh, that are involved in COVID-19 headache, COVID headache will also help understanding primary addictive disorders. So uh, it is something that is worth, it's not just understanding COVID-19, it's also probably understanding mechanisms that could be uh, involved in primary headache disorders, such as migraine. Yeah. Mm -hmm.